In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with tags in WordPress. Go ahead and log into the back end of your WordPress website. We're going to focus on tags today. Now, in my previous tutorial on how to create a post, I briefly went over what tags are. Here, I'm going to focus a bit more on them. And so if we go to post tags under the post menu option, we are brought to the page where we can here define tags and then write descriptions out for them and keep them here so that when we write posts, we can just grab them from this list in the future. So this is pretty self-explanatory. As I explained before in my previous uh, tutorial, a tag basically allows you to specify contents of a post. So think of them as keywords. So let's say for instance you create a post about Chinese food. You might want to include a tag that says Chinese food in that tag or food or oriental food, something like that, that goes along with your post. This will allow um, the search engines to grab your post and use those keywords, but also it will allow your users to browse to specific tags through those posts. So let's say you have a bunch of different posts on Chinese food. They could click on that tag and look at all the posts that you did relating to that tag. So there's something to keep in mind. So anyway, let's just go ahead and use that example. For the tag name, I'm going to put Chinese food. The tag slug basically allows you to modify the URL of that tag. If you leave this blank, it's going to make a formation of that slug through what you've named. So it'll probably put Chinese dash food or something like that. And that's what I want for mine. But if you want to make a customized tag or slug for that, you can go ahead and do that. And it will appear as that in your URL. And then for the description, you don't have to do this. However, this is good if you have a bunch of different tags and you would like to define them in some way. So when you're looking through them, you know what you're using them for. So you could put something like mainly use for food posts or something like that. And when you're done, you just go ahead and click add tag and it will appear then in your list right here. And again, as you can see, the slug was named to that. And of course, as I said, that's customizable if you wish. And then when you go and you add a new post, you will have your pay, um, tags appear. If I start typing in Chinese food, it will appear right there. As you can see, it remembers the, ta the tag from your list. So this works both ways too. If, you're, if you put in a new tag right here, let's just say you put in Mexican food, and then we add this, you can see it's right there. And then we update the page. Mexican food will then appear on our list of tags in that tags menu option. So you can do it both ways and then you can go back there and add a description if you so choose to. Anyway, that is basically how you use tags. I have more tutorials coming soon, so stay tuned.